Hi everybody, Pete G0 PLM here with you for another video. Uh, this one again is courtesy of my good friend Dave Bondi, G4NRT. And we're going to be looking at another member of the sculpture family. Now, I'm sure you've all heard of the phrase more form than function. Uh, well, this one fulfills both of those requirements. It's both a good looking key and also a very, very well made and very, very precise key to use. If you've seen my review on the Bagali HST, we're talking along the same sort of lines as that. And this week we're going to be talking about the Sculpture Mono. I just So here's a closer look at the Sculpture Mono from Begali. Um, as you can see, it's very similar in design to the Sculpture Twin Paddle Iambic Key, the Sculpture Janus, and the Sculpture Arrow 2. And uh, just to give you some measurements, the um, length of the key is 102 millimeters, um, and the width at the back is 70.2 and um, it doesn't actually give me the measurements for the front um, of the key, but it's a little bit wider at the front than it is at the back. As you can see, it's, it splays out slightly. Um, the height from desk to the top of the paddle is 66.5 millimeters. Uh, made out of AISI 304 stainless steel, and it has 14 karat gold contacts, which I don't think you'll find on very many keys outside of the Bagali range and that's just, just indicative of the quality you can expect from a key from Bagali. Um, single paddle, it's pre-wired as you can see um, with a socket on the rear so you just need to plug it in and go. It comes factory set but as with all other Bagali keys it comes with a feeler gauge um, so you can set it up if you decide to play with the settings. Um, it's a magnetic key so it has repelling magnets uh, at the back here and your tension adjustment, uh, sorry, your contact adjustment is done by these two here for your left and your right. And as you can see from the key, um, you activate the paddle and uh, it forces these outwards to make contact with their corresponding um, contacts just there. So uh, it weighs, by the way, yeah, three and a half pounds. I've just stuck it on my scales here in the shack. Um, 3.5 pounds, which is about 1.6 kilograms. And um, so it is really, really heavy. Um, it's got the four feet on the bottom as per a lot of their other keys. Uh, it doesn't have the rubber O-ring on this one, uh, which would be a nice addition, but I think there's a lot going on there in quite a small space and um, it, it might, uh, Pay just to leave it as it is but um, there we go perhaps that's something to consider for the future so as in the other videos I'll plug it into the Tentec it is um, not very good today uh, as I keep saying we're, we're at a sunspot low at the moment not much activity on HF but uh, we can only try and um, we'll see how we get on with the Begali sculpture mono
So, the Sculpture Mono, fantastic key. I was just looking at the website as well and um, the last paragraph really sums up this key and it says, like its dual lever cousin, we have made every attempt with this key, not only to produce a technical instrument that serves its purpose with the highest possible precision, but we're also to make it aesthetically pleasing. A true, this truly is a work of art that embodies the best we produce. And I couldn't agree more actually, it's a lovely looking key. I mean, the whole sculpture range, well, I mean, let's face it, every Begali key is a master of precision engineering, but in particular, the sculpture range looks absolutely fantastic. And I can't thank David enough for loaning me the keys that he has done to do these last few reviews. Um, I really, really like the key and I think it's going to be on my shopping list because uh, I like using it. And um, it's, it's, it's the same but different than the HST, if you know what I mean. It's, it's got a similar feel, but a different feel. If you, it's difficult to explain without actually using one yourself. But um, yeah, the Sculpture Mono is uh, certainly would look nice on my shelf up there with my others as well. So um, uh, I shall have to um, start saving. Um, so uh, yeah, if you, need, if you need a cover for your Morse key, come to the official Begali partner for Morse key covers, me, um, g0pnm.uk. Um, you can also find me on the Begali website under the partners tab. Uh, www.i2rtf.com uh, recommend you having a look at their webpage as well where you can find details of all their keys paddles limited edition items uh, the CW machine and of course the Begali watch um, that I featured a few episodes ago um, so that's it really for now um, I don't have any more keys to review at the moment, so if you have one that you wouldn't mind me borrowing for a short while, uh, I would be pleased to um, take delivery of it. I'll pay for the shipping back to you, um, and I'll review it in one of my videos if I haven't uh, reviewed it before. Obviously, you get a name drop as well in the video. So on that note, um, please don't forget to click the notification bell, like and subscribe. Uh, to the channel because I'm sure there will be more videos coming at some point in the near future um, so that's it thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed this little series so until next time stay safe uh, enjoy your CW and I'll see you on the bands bye bye